I think it's time to leave for the Disney cruise now. Yeah. Now we can go. Let's get you years old. I made a little bit of a mistake this time. It's Disney Cruise Travel Day! Come with us as we travel to the port to board the Disney Dream for a four night magical cruise over to La Rochelle in France, sailing from Southampton. Who is excited? Me! Oh, even the bunnies have got embarkation outfits. When we get to the hotel later, we will have to show you the bunnies full wardrobe. My auntie, who is traveling with us on this trip, has made some excellent outfits for the bunnies that the girls want to show you. Yeah. So who is uh, most excited, do you think? Me! And what are we excited for? Well, what are you excited for? Um, the Oceaneer Club and the food. Excellent. Girls, in, we'll talk about this a lot more later, but in brief, just top thing you're excited for. Um, um, I'm excited to go on the aqueduct. Aqueduct, that's going to be amazing. I, uh, I can't decide, there's too many things. Oh, there are just too many things. <laughs> too many things. I've already filmed a full compact with me, so make sure you check that out. There's a full video explaining all of the outfits that we're wearing for the trip, so make sure you check that out after you've seen this. The weather's not as brilliant as we were hoping. It is August, but the weather's not brilliant. Let's do a quick outfit check for today. The girls are gonna put on their Disneyland Paris spirit jerseys over the top of their little Minnie Mouse Disney bound dresses. We wore those for our vacation for the first cruise that we ever went on, and they've worn them in Walt Disney World. And you've got your little necklaces with your letters on. Well, talk us through your outfit. Well, I'm wearing a the 30th anniversary Letterman jacket. Yes, excellent. Your Disney Cruise Line captain's hat that we had on the last yes. cruise. And Donald. Donald. And, yet, and Donald is attached. Donald is attached. Um, the children have got Noemos attached to their bags with these little hair elastics. If you just loop a hair elastic around the arms and the legs, if you want to double security of the remote, then it's a good way to attach them to your bag. And this is your result. This is your result. So let's get the stuff in the car and travel to the port. We're staying in a Holiday Inn Express in Southampton near the port. And that's Daddy of Four who's just finished loading the car. Hello, are you excited? Hello. Daddy of Four, are you excited? Absolutely. <laughs> There's no room in the car for any of the other No, fair Daddy enough. Where's your Mickey hat? Um, not sure. Where is your Mickey hat? Where, where is Letting it? the side down. Yeah, Letting right. the side down. So I am wearing my Disney Cruise Line ears from the last trip, my Disney Cruise Line spirit jersey, and some super comfy leggings. Oh, good news. Excellent news. I found the hat. Come on then. Now we can go. <laughs> Let's get your years on. Come on. I think it's time to leave for the Disney Cruise now. Let's go. So we've pulled in to services. The boys and Bella have got something from Greg's for lunch. I've just popped into M&S. Zara, you didn't fancy anything from Greg's, did you? No. no. Um, and I'm just trying to debate which of these rather delicious looking salads to get. All the food on m is so nice. I know we need Percy Pigs. We always need Percy but Pigs. Um, but we saw Percy Pigs then, so we want to get them from there. You want to get... Yeah, and I think it has a bit more variety Yeah, too. there's a giant Percy Pig just outside this m &S. Okay, so which one of these do I want to get? So I want hoisin noodle, that looks nice. Or Korean sticky rice salad, that looks good. Or tempted by chicken chorizo pasta. Or, what's the other one I fancied? These, look, bang, bang prawn that looks amazing oh i don't know which one i want which one do i want i'm sorry look this is a kids section so for four pounds is a main a drink a snack and fruit so which one of these do you want darling do you want ham sandwich cheese sandwich which one ham ham please. ham please okay it's got butter in it. it has got butter in it but you do eat butter on toast in school i don't really like sandwiches you don't like sandwiches Okay, not that then. I don't know. Or would you rather toasty and pasta? Mm, I don't know. You're not sure? I think these are the same as the ones outside, you know. They are the, yeah, they are the same. Fizzy pigtails, lots of fizzy pigtails and some 
sticky faces. But we need to give some to the cast members. So yeah. how many cast members are we going to have? We're going to have a room, a drink person for the dining, a yeah, food uh, person, the person who serves the food. So we need these four bags of those. Should we just yeah. get a standard piece of cake? Those ones are actually really good. Mm -hmm. They're like okay. the fizzy ones, but like they're more fruity and no like sugar on it. Yeah. Well, there okay. is sugar in it, but no sugar on it. They've also got vegan ones. I think when we tried those before, they were a bit stickier. Different yeah. consistency. Okay, we're ready to play now. Zara, yeah. softer for you? Yeah. Cool. And here's the giant Percy that the girls found. Does it have anything happen if you press in? Press here. Does it do anything? No. Is it working? I don't think it works. No, it's not working. It's very cool though. So I ended up going for this Korean style spicy rice salad, which looks amazing. It's really good. What's that again out of a bag? What could it be? Um, what could it be? Come um, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get my bag to do it. What's Bella got out of the bag? It's a magical cruise planner! If you have seen my planning videos, you'll know that I, yes, I have a cruise planner. You don't absolutely have to have this to plan a cruise. Of course, you can just take a pen and paper and write down all the notes. But if you want to grab your own copy of the digital version that you can print out yourself or use on a tablet, like I have been doing in all my packing videos, or you want to grab this, which is the perfect round version or a spiral round version, then there will be a QR code on the screen and links down below for planning out your own cruise. Bella, I'm going to hand that back to you because you like to fill in some of the notes. I'm we'll have a look. Fill in the there we go, there's a character meet bucket list Bella's gonna fill out. So I've had a few questions sent in on Instagram and one of them is what is everyone looking forward to most? I know we touched on this briefly earlier. Um, one of the things I'm looking forward to most, to be honest, is it just being a normal cruise. The first cruise we went on, if you've seen our Disney Magic at Sea cruise vlog series, it was a COVID cruise, so it was really nerve wracking. Like how nerve wracking was it? Doing all the testing I mean, at the port. Really oh. it was, you were under the it was really stressful. Oh, 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 got got the emails through, but they won't load. I can't open them. I'm trying to open them. Trying to open them. Can't. Nope. Just says loading, loading, loading. It was so stressful. We had to do testing before we left. We had to submit all the vaccination proof. The biggest stress was the testing at the port because we were there refreshing, refreshing for the email. And if we anyone had failed the COVID test, if anyone had COVID, then we would have had to go home and legally isolate. It just would have been, it would have been very stressful. Looking forward to obviously not having to do all that, the process being smoother, and then having pirate night and characters and hugs and autographs and all the stuff we missed out on last time. So we had an amazing magical cruise, but this is just gonna be so much better. So that's what are you looking forward to, baby? Mm. Oh, sorry, you're still eating, we'll come back to you. Bella? What are you looking forward to, sweetheart? I'm looking forward to quite a lot of things. Like what, baby? First, the Beauty and the Beast show. Belle is your favourite princess. Next, the Pirates of the Car... No, no. I'm getting mixed up now. Pirate Night. Pirate, Pirate Night. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. Anything else, I'm Belle? excited to go to Royal Palace. Yes. I'm excited for the fireworks. Amazing. I'm excited for... Um, um, Oceaneer's Club. Oh, it's going to be amazing, all of that. The best way to put it is Oceaneer Club, food, etc, etc, etc. Excellent. Daddy of four, what are you looking forward well, to? Well, obviously I'm looking forward to uh, training every morning down the gym. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the <Sorry>. salad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, obviously you think you it's funny. You've never that before. That's because you're always asleep when I'm doing it. So training and, and, and training and we cook this most salad we can eat. <laughs> and kids club. Kids club. And obviously the odd coffee that they call the bag. The gym. This is ridiculous. Comment down below on the likelihood of Daddy if we're actually using the gym on board. You're gonna have to now. You said it. You your friends on Facebook and stuff, or whatever it is, Instagram won't even be up there really, so they won't see it. <laughs> YouTube, dear, YouTube. YouTube uh, it's great they when. They definitely will be awake in the <laughs> Right, okay, Zara. First, oh, don't worry, a little bit of toasty fell on the floor. It doesn't matter, nobody's oh, no. cross. First of all, do you believe Daddy's in at the gym? No, nope, for me. Second of all, what are you looking forward to on the cruise, baby girl? 
everything. Me too. I'm looking forward to all the magic. All the magic. Right, now who would like some of these that I bought? Me, 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 me. Yeah. Me, me, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Who's the next? No, I'm not going to say that. Oh, oh. Pretty much oh brownie points, brownie points, brownie points, brownie points. They're brownie points. Brownie points. Brownie points. Brownie points. Brownie you can't go to M&S without, I only recently discovered these. These things. They're brownie flipping points. amazing. They're absolutely stunning. Brownie points. It's brownie points for everyone that buys these from Mummy. Double R. Yeah, uh, double R, really? Double. I want the double R. Just take one. Double R. <gasps> Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, are there any doublers in here? Probably not. I'll just take this one. These things. Mm. Mm. Well, let's see what you've been writing. I only wrote one so far. So, so far, but she's I mean, got she wants to meet Mickey in his 25th outfit. What about Mickey in Pirate Night? Do you want to meet him in Pirate Night? Who wants to meet? What characters does everyone want to meet? Zara, you start. Which is Mickey in his 25th anniversary outfit. Who, baby? Minnie! Minnie, you know. Wait, Minnie in what outfit? In what outfit? Well, fingers crossed. We'll see how many we can tick off and during and the cruise. And I want to meet Cinderella Watch or Jasmine. Cinderella 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 Jasmine. I don't know how long Bella's going to take on the list. <laughs> she's got very neat writing. She's doing, oh, she's, she's doing are you doing one colours. colour per letter? Yeah. That might take a bit of time. <laughs> We're going to be here all day. Okay, back in the car. Let's get going. As we are sitting in traffic, we're gonna answer some questions. We're gonna answer some questions. Uh, so, does your husband enjoy Disney? I do enjoy Disney. You do enjoy um, Disney. Which, which bit of Disney do you like the most? Cruises, like parks? Cruises, cruises. I like the salads, I like training the gym. Lies. Um, I tell you, you do like, you like it. Eating, drinking, coffee. Yeah, you like the food and drink of it all, don't you? Yeah. And the, that, that's your favorite bit. Um, like you really enjoyed in Paris, going to the Art of Marvel, actually leaving the parks and, and chilling out over there. I enjoy getting stuck in traffic on the way to the- He does not, in, that, he enjoys that about thing. as much as he enjoys training and salad. <laughs> um, <laughs> would you ever do any other Disney cruises like Europe, USA, Caribbean? Yeah, would love to. Transatlantic. Daddy Ford really wants to do the Transatlantic. So Disney, if you're listening, if you want to put me on the Transatlantic <laughs> to do any reviews. Oh yeah. Give me a shout, Disney He's, Ford, yeah, ring the bell and yeah. ding dong, happy days. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they'd love you, you to know? go and do that, dear. I'd love you to do I'd that. I'd even take some tools with me if you want and fix the boat. <laughs> Ship. I know, they throw you, they'll throw you over both calling it a boat. Um, yeah, would love to. Guys, would, where would you like to go? If we went on another Disney cruise, um, which other places? I would want to go to maybe the Bahamas. The Bahamas? Yeah, like maybe like maybe even just another European cruise. Yeah, that would be amazing. I yeah, wish like, we could go to the Bahamas. Yeah, I, really I know. I really want to go on the treasure. You really want to the treasure. So at the point of filming, the treasure is about to do a big reveal, or Disney is about to do a big reveal of the treasure um, on the 30th. So it's just after we get off the cruise. Um, no doubt there will be some commentary about the treasure on this channel. So um, by the time you watch this vlog, then Click around the channel. Click around the channel. I'm sure there is something. William, shall, shall you and I perhaps do a live to discuss what's going on with the treasure? Yeah, that, that seems appropriate. That, that does seem appropriate. William's quite good at doing lives. If you've um, you've not checked out any of the lives that I've done with William recently, please do have a look around on the channel and check those out. Uh, okay, how long are you getting on the cruise for? So it is a four night cruise. We are doing embarkation day tomorrow. Can't quite believe we're saying that. Embarking the cruise tomorrow. Uh, then we've got day two at sea. Um, well, we have got, because another one of the questions is what we've got booked, we've got the Princess, the Royal Gathering booked on day two at sea. Day three, we are doing a port adventure, which is really exciting because when we sailed last, we weren't allowed to do any getting off the ship because of COVID. Um, so we've got a port adventure in La Rochelle in France, and then in the night of day three, it is pirate night, and then day four at sea, and day five, we get off the ship mostly crying. Mostly crying, going, we don't want to leave. It's a bit like a roller coaster. 
I bet that's a bit. You can't it's get an emotional off the ship roller coaster. Till it stops. Emotional roller coaster. Um, what's a good length for a Disney cruise? I feel like three to five days is too short. I've got to say, even if we did the transatlantic, even if we did a fourteen-day Disney cruise, that would still be too short. Agreed, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, agreed. Do it agreed. Back as well. There you go. Yeah, Anything to help with seasickness? Kiddos, show us your band. So the kiddos uh, are wearing these seasickness bands. Uh, Bella, demonstrate the pressing of the band. It's an acupressure. <laughs> an acupressure band where you press on you wear it like that and you press it they also wear them in the car for car sickness no one experienced seasickness touch wood on the last cruise so fingers crossed we weren't this time either um, anywhere, but the right? kids were wearing yeah we, were like in little, we in went out and went round and round and we were, daddy of four thinks it might be a bit more bumpy this time but then it's a much bigger ship the dream is bigger than the magic so uh, keep watching this vlog Susan we'll let you know if the seasickness Don't forget, situation watch, is different watch daddy at four ring the bell ding dong if you want to see the rough stuff he's got his own channel that he thinks he's going <laughs> to upload to it's not going to happen so by all means go and subscribe over there and I'll watch the videos he doesn't picture. put out I'll put some pictures Oh, and his Instagram. There you go. Daddy4 um, does have his own Instagram. I'll put your Instagram on the screen, look, and they can all go and follow you. Okay. You've got to put some stuff up there now, haven't you? Yeah, you have. You've got to go and put some stuff. I know. Going to the gym. Yeah, it is. Well, it is a problem. problem. You've actually got to do it. Um, oh, not cruise related, but where is the jumper from? Um, that's the jump cruise. The, the cruise jumper I was just wearing, which I've actually taken off because it's boiling. It is cruise related. It is cruise related. Oh, we're getting to a roundabout. There we go. Apparently, we've got 14 miles left to go, but it's, it's literally standstill it's traffic. It's a big car park. It is. We've, we've clocked into a car park. Um, yeah, it was a cruise um, spirit jersey that I bought on the last cruise. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to put the windows down now because I'm absolutely melting. Fingers crossed this traffic eases up and we can get to the hotel a very soon. So we are all checked in to the Holiday Inn Express with all our 11 billion cases. My auntie and uncle have actually been stuck in traffic so they're not here yet, but we have checked in. We're gonna go now and find our rooms. So this is our room. We have got a sofa bed over here and another bed behind. Zari's gonna have to sleep in with mummy and daddy tonight. Um, technically, I think when I booked the two rooms, I think one of you is supposed to be in with Lenny and Uncle Alan. Um, but you just gonna, we're all just gonna squish in, I think. We're all just gonna squish mm. in. Um, and then my auntie and uncle can have their own room of peace. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basic, but it's absolutely fine. Apparently, what did they say? It was about distance to the port. Distance to the port it's supposed to be. Four and a half so helpful. Miles? Four and a half miles. It's four and a half miles from the port. About ten to fifteen quid on the taxi. Ten to fifteen pounds <laughs> on the taxi, apparently according to the lady at the front desk. Okay. So the window is open. I don't know if there's any air conditioning. There's not. There's, there's air not? That air that is the air condition. The conditioned air is open the window. Okay, so that's fine. Well, that's but, but, but it is only one there's night. It I'm is only fine. one night. It's going to be Tomorrow we're going to be on the ship, so it's all going to be magical. And we're going to have our own bed. And we're, we're going to appreciate the luxury of the Disney Cruise Line the all board. the more. You can sleep on the ironing board, dear. This is only one night, so... It is only one night. It is only one night. And it's fine. It's closer to the port. Um, I'd highly recommend staying close to the ship rather than attempting to travel on travel day. My auntie and uncle have tried to travel down, and it's, you know, it's the day before. They've hit traffic. But there's no stress because they're definitely going to get to here before the ship sails tomorrow. Just to give you an idea, this is the room. It's going to be a very short room tour. It's not a massive room, but then we don't need a massive room. Perfectly clean and tidy looking bathroom and shower with some Dove uh, shampoo and body wash. Oh, and a toilet in behind the door in this little cubby hole here, uh, which does work. Yes, apparently Daddy has already tried it out. So we've got... 
an iron, ironing board, hanging space, a fan, so that there you go, more air conditioning. Um, we've got the tea and coffee making facilities and our excessive amounts of suitcases, which we've decided to bring in from the car because quite frankly, if someone stole the car, we could we could manage. We could claim our insurance when we got off the ship. But if someone stole our suitcases, we would spoil our cruise. And you got me. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't have your Mickey hat, which you need to find and put back on your head, by the way. No, Oh, there are more lights. There we go. And we have got a desk. How many plugs? I always like to know how many plugs we've got. We've got a switch over here, but no plug. Is that right? No plugs there. No, no, no. How many plug sockets we got? Oh, oh, here. no, here. that's a phone. A oh, no, yeah, that's right. a USB. Sorry, You're Mommy, right here. Yeah. Yeah, well, a plug? Like a, uh, a, oh, I don't know what it's called. That's a, yeah, that's a socket. That's oh, fine. That's There's one there. Socket. There we go. Perfect. Uh, We've got some shelving here for storage. No. And then if you hear just, just as a two, this would be a sofa, not a sofa bed. Right, now should we go downstairs? So this is real life. Yeah. Tomorrow would be. The dream. The dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the first of reality, this is the reality of it. Reality? I think I'd be more excited about the dream, actually. Are you, are you staying there or are you coming downstairs? Reality? Dream. Um, reality? No, I am, yes. Dream. <laughs> reality? Dream. Oh, let's go yeah. And, let's go and get a beer. There we go. Daddy wants a beer. Uh, a beer, Um, I think I'll stick to the, like, soft drinks. Good. Very sensible, <laughs> <then>. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. I Bella has this. noticed something. So basically, I thought it was just weird, by the way, that so the door was in the cubby hole. The door like that. Ah, so you can shut. You can shut. me thinking, why is the toilet in this weird cubby hole? It's because you can shut yourself in oh, and right. then still use. Although you don't. Yeah, you can still use the the sink at least. I thought it was Not just the pure. The carpenter like, was like, whoa, that uh, was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you just managed to get the door to fit. I didn't realise it. Was no, I didn't realise either. So basically people can still be cleaning their teeth while someone's having a wee. Bella, or, well done for noticing. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, darling. That's glass there though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, know. you can have a shower so with see, the door open. You can, you can see the shadow <laughs> of someone having a poo. What? Wait, no. what? Oh, you can see it over there! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a perfect system then? It's not perfect. No, well, okay, it's not perfect. Well, you should shower while they're in the toilet. Oh dear. Oh dear. Holiday begins. I mean, it begins as soon as you leave the house, don't you think? You've got to stretch out the magic as much as possible. But now we've actually got here, we can chill, relax, enjoy a little glass of magic. So the plan is to just chillax here this evening, get the children to go to sleep somehow because they're going to be crazy excited, and then down to the pool to board the dream in the morning. I literally can't express to you how excited I am right now. Just words don't cover it. So while we're just sitting here having a drink, a few bits of um, Disney, not housekeeping, Disney bits I always get questions about. So one of the questions I always get is, what's this thing on the, the kids' wrists that they're always wearing? And I feel this isn't as vital on a Disney cruise as it is in the Disney Parks trip, but I figure we've got them so it makes sense to use them. These are air tags. So these are little, it's just a little disc um, that slots into these bands and these are trackable. So if God forbid, and it's not a substitute for keeping an eye on the kids, but if we can find them through we're out of sight, then we would be able to track the air tags. And just, who is allowed to take this off? Um, Mummy or Daddy. Anyone else? No. You? No. A stranger? No. A cast member? No. Mickey? No. Nope. Just you, Mummy and Daddy. What? No, Mickey's not allowed to take it off. Nobody's allowed to take it off. The kids know only we're allowed to take them off. So, um, I will... Oh, there's always blog posts to go with for my videos, so I'll link all those below. The other thing I always get a question about is what's that card you use for spending abroad? And it's this one, which is called Monzo. Um, this isn't an ad, but I do get a £5 ad to my account and £5 ad to your account if you get one of these. And it's free to use. There are upgraded options, but I don't have the upgraded option, I've just got the free one. Um, and the benefit of this, I mean, lots of benefits for it, really. You can you know, save money into pots and all that kind of thing. But the reason we use it for spending abroad, so we're going to use it in La Rochelle and to pay the bill on the cruise, is because um, the there's no currency conversion fees. 
So rather than using a debit card or a credit card, this is what we use on Disney trips any time we're abroad really. But to be honest, I started using it in the UK a lot as well because it's like, rather than like a bank that made an app, which is how most banks are, it's more like a really good app developer made a bank. See what I mean? So um, follow the link down below if you want to get one of those, um, you can just get one off your own back, but if you follow that link, then you will get an extra five pounds out of your account when you make your first purchase. What? You all, you guys all chilled and relaxed now? Aww, yeah, yeah, chilled, chillaxed. Oh. Bella, what are you doing? You filling um, out your cruise planner? Yeah. What, I'm which... gonna take off pick a ship because we've already picked a ship. <laughs> Bella's going through the cruise planner. The cruise planner is designed mm -hmm. for when you first book the cruise and all the booking and all the planning. But it is also for like magical memories. It is stuff, also so. for magical memories. So there are pages in it for your magical memories, for plans for each day. I tell you what you can do. You can go to the first day for embarkation day and you can fill out our plans for embarkation day, which is tomorrow. You can also go to the day two at sea because we've got our princess meat booked in. You can put that in as well. So there are lots of things. Yep, so you can put our port arrival time. You can put... I don't know when they're arriving. All that stuff. Daddy, for keep saying about getting salad, do you mean salad in your kebab, dear? I do. That's exactly what I mean. Thought so. I went to the vending machine just now. And believe it or not, they didn't have any salad. Oh. Bags of crisps. Got it. Do you, let's have a look at Zara's writing. What does it say? Have a wow, either. I love it. You've got to write it in your notebook, are you not your planner? Um, I might do something else in my planner. What are you can do in your planner? Um, I don't know. Okay. Something. Will's just chillaxing. Is that hat surgically attached to your head, Will? Um, wait, wait, it's a bit like when we. Oh, what is the note tomorrow? 26. <laughs> it's a bit like when we go to Disneyland Paris and the. Big Disneyland Paris flashing hat, mm. surgically attached to William's head. Although we have that packed will be it, well, like, animators, day? animators day, yeah. whichever whichever day we're in animators. So what I am really excited for is to find out which day we're doing what. We won't find out until we get on the ship's Wi-Fi. Um, the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app is really worth downloading before your cruise. You need it for loads of things, but then when you get on the ship, it really like lights up. And there's a lot more information on it, and you find out which restaurant you're dining in. There's rotational dining on the Disney Cruise. I've talked about this loads if you've watched on my planning video, but in brief, you get allocated a different one of the three dining restaurants each night. You have the same table number, the same service each night, and they really get to know you. They really look after you, and you just choose earlier or later dining. We've gone for later dining purely because on our last cruise, um, I'd forgotten how much food we were gonna eat, and I just was not hungry. We were just so stuffed when we got to dinner, and they were like, oh, so, did you like your food? And we were like, yeah, I'm just so full. They were like, oh, was, it, was the food not good? No, the food was amazing. It's just, we're so, so full. By the way, have I shown you guys my cruise nails yet? These are for the 25th anniversary. I've got the Disney Cruise 25 symbol. Um, I did not do these nails myself, full disclosure. I went to have them done, I'm not this talented. And then I've got all the colors. Yes, we are sailing on the Disney 25th anniversary celebrations there's going to be loads of really exciting stuff make sure you subscribe with bell notifications on um, because all the crews we're going to include all of the details there's going to be so much information in these vlogs that are going to, going to share all the magic and everything you need to know as well um, plus you need to know you need to set your set your diary set calendars they're going to this vlog's going to be at 8 a.m every sunday if you want to watch them um, but then if you are on my patreon then i just pop them in there as soon as they're edited so if you want to watch them early then you can head over to my Patreon for a little bit of extra magic and early magic. Now back to my wine. So we just ordered some food. Kids have gone for burgers and chicken nuggets. Um, my husband has gone for curry style dish. So interested to see what that is. And do you know what? I've just gone for a load of nachos because holiday. Also, we've got a little uh, cheeky bottle of wine. Not necessarily going to drink it all ourselves, but hopefully my auntie and uncle arrive, hopefully quite soon. They can have a little glass with this too. Food was fine adequate um not cheap not especially amazing but fine. sort of as we expected but it's okay because tomorrow we're stepping onto the dream which is going to be amazing food so i don't mind well it looks like my auntie and uncle have just arrived and the children are very excited look who has arrived <laughs> <laughs> this is Lynn, who, um, actually I thought your name was Linny until I was about 25, I didn't realise that it was just Lynn. In fact, I even set up an email address for you, you with did. Linny 
Mm. Um, Nitty Manager. I thought it was your name, okay? No yeah. one told me. <laughs> um, she's basically my mum's amazing. And this is my uncle Alan. Um, this is their very first Disney cruise. What are you looking forward to the most? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. All things. The, the excitement. Total, the, the total experience. The total yes. experience. Oh. It's, it's going to be a quite an experience. It's going to be fab. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Mummy? Yes, They darling. have been to the November trip. They have. You will have seen them before. If you've seen our <laughs> Disneyland Paris Christmas trip for 2022, you will have seen them before. But this is the very first Disney cruise. Yeah. yeah. The first cruise full we'll stop. First cruise full stop. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. We can't yeah. wait. So we now come up to the room. We've got some, some quite tired but very excited children. <laughs> um, so we're just going to get them ready for bed. We've got rather a lot of cases but everything we need for tonight is in just one I say one two cases so I've got one that's like my laptop and stuff just for me to back up footage or whatever and then it's just this mini mouse case just this case we need to open tonight so that's toiletries pajamas everything we need to wear tomorrow all these other cases I'm not touching them I'm not disturbing them we can open those when we get on the ship so are we going to all be very good and calm going to sleep tonight guys yeah yeah yes us. Yeah. Are we going to be very good? Yeah. Do we believe them, people of the internet? Yeah. Maybe. More accurate. More accurate. I've got to say it is very exciting though. Very exciting indeed. Okay, guys. Everyone ready? Everyone in the jammies? Yep. Yeah. Everyone ready? Yeah. I'm not in jammies. You're not in jammies. Don't whine in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my computer on. I'm going to do a bit. I hope for you lot. You grapes. You grapes. <laughs> You're so healthy, oh, darling. So healthy. Good. I'm proud. Okay, so guys, we're going to say goodnight now because in the morning it's time to go on a Disney. Yay! See you in what will be a few hours for us, possibly long ones, because depending on how well the children settle, and just a moment for you. It's Disney Cruise Day. It's Embarkation Day. I can't quite believe it. Um, if you're wondering, Marie, what's going on in the hair? Why are you wearing the same clothes as yesterday? Quite simply, I have decided to dress everyone in yesterday's clothes to go down for breakfast because big beans. Um, before bringing everyone back up from breakfast to get into the embarkation clothes, and that is when I shall straighten my hair too. So, about to follow my family down for breakfast have a little bit of something to eat, then tidy up this mess of a room into some sort of order, and then head down for our port arrival time. Now our port arrival time is 12.30. My auntie and uncle actually have a later port arrival time because we are silver Castaway Club members because we've sailed before. So the Castaway Club system is the more you sail with Disney, the more perks you get. And one of them is being able to check in earlier and therefore you get an earlier port arrival time. So we've got an earlier port arrival time than them because we checked in 33 days before, not 30 days before, which you'll know if you saw my check in with me for a Disney Cruise vlog, which if you go on Disney Cruise, check that out because there's some tips shared in there to make sure that the check in process goes smoothly and not like a bit of a nightmare like it went for me the first time we did Disney Cruise and it went from 5 a.m. till after lunch. Anyway, let's go down for breakfast, uh, check that out to see if that's any good. Um, and then before we leave, I will give you our thoughts on this hotel if you are thinking of staying for the Port of Southampton or also for Portland's Park, Peppa Pig World, because apparently it's quite close to that too. nearly time to head to the port so I thought we'd show you a quick outfit of the day. The girls and I have all got these Disney Cruise ears. We've got our little letter necklaces that I have from Shop Disney in the sale about a million years ago when we've worn all of our Disney trips. And I've got a red spotty dress. I have added this belt since doing the outfit video. Um, mine is halter neck and in fact I have got a petticoat to stick under it too. The girls have got these lovely twirly dresses that are red spotty with a belt. Here's my petticoat, let's put that on and see if we can floof this dress up a bit, shall we? William, you and Daddy have got matching t-shirts. What have you got? Let's have a look. Disney Cruise, Disney Dream Cruise 2023. And I left my hat somewhere. Um, on Daddy's head. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh dear. And I've got this fantastic 100 years of wonder watch band to celebrate the 100 years of Disney. And William has chosen, which William's watch band is this Let's Sail Disney Cruise Line watch band. There we go. So my dress is much more poofy now with the petticoat. Oh, who's excited guys? It's nearly time to- Me! It is nearly time to check out the room. Wait. Do you want to show your bunny clothes? Yeah, we have two yeah. more people. Two more people that are bunnies. There's two more people to do. Okay. I wonder who it is. My auntie, who is people. very talented at sewing, um, has spent an absolute age making these beautiful dresses. Look how gorgeous these are. She's made them to match the girls' dresses. And she, sorry, Zara's so bunny's got the same. Oh, we've also got these. If you're wondering what these bracelets are, the girls have made these. We're going to pixie dust these bracelets two people they've made lots of different i have one too yeah we've got lots Let of different ones them. we've got lots of different like hidden mickey bracelets we're going to gift to people that we see on the ship um guests cast members whoever we've got the little pixie dust bags we've made we've got the ducks to hide Wait the disney minute. ducks oh we sorry we haven't completed bunny's outfit so oh. she has her dress but you can't see she has a necklace oh there you go you a necklace as well Oh, bunny neck, <laughs> like bracelets, but we use bracelets for neck. There we go. The bunnies bunny. are very much part. And she of the also has this hairband that Linny like had this material and she tied it together. It's beautiful. And then I have my bunny has this headband no. which I had. Now that headband was a baby headband for a shop Disney Minnie Mouse outfit Wait. that one of you two used to wear. On the last cruise, mm. when we were doing the was it the Avengers quiz or something? Zara yeah. was Zara wore that to mm -hmm, meet Mickey. Mm -hmm. I think she I did. did. I, I think she did. Captain hat. It was I our class, so. I think. Oh, it's getting so exciting, guys. Mm -hmm. We've literally got to check out the room in half half an hour. The pack taxi's picking us up about 45 minutes after that, so we're gonna have to hang out downstairs, but it's all very exciting. <laughs> so it's nearly time to go. Let's tidy up the room and we can get moving. Yay! 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 Yeah, the people my low down, I not want the show. Yay! Um, tired, dear? Oh. Yeah. Too tired to go on a cruise? Nope. Nope. Saving my energy. Saving my energy, okay. I'm not too tired. <laughs> right, girls. We are going to have to pack up in a second, but first, before we pack these away, do you want to show us the other outfits yeah, that Bunny's got? Wait, and we have passports for Bunny too. You also made passports for Bunny. Okay. So, for the Bell show, the Beauty and the Beast show, <laughs> my auntie's made these. Look how stunning they are. They're so cute. She made Bella a very similar dress when she was tiny. And in fact, she made me a Beauty and the Beast dress because as a 90s kid, uh, she made me a Beauty and the Beast dress, I think when it first came out in cinemas, and I loved it. And for Pirate Night, look what she's made, they're so, so cute. Look at the detail on that, for a bunny. And the bandana, perfect to go on bunny's ears. The bunnies are gonna be so stylish, they're gonna be the style, the most stylish bunnies on the cruise. Bella, show bunny's us the passport. Bunny's got her passport, I <laughs> made it, but bunny thought the other one was too boring. Oh, well, so yeah, I mean, normal one. passports are very and boring then, compared to that. So, let's see yours. Wait, I love it. I need to show you the inside, mm. and then that's Bunny. Oh, there you go, so it's got a, her passport photo in it. She's, and and she's not smiling in it either, so that's fine. One Perfect. Um, and it says, I love carrots. Is Amelia. Oh, okay. Excellent. Her name is actually Sophia, but I never call her that. No, you just call her Bunny. Yes. Like, we just call you Bella. Okay, now Mummy's going to tidy up to go. Let's tidy up these bunny clothes, quick, quick. Well, we are in reception, waiting to go. We have all of our luggage. A lot of our luggage, it's a lot of luggage. Um, we're gonna wait for the taxi. Um, now last time, if you watched our previous cruise vlog series, you uh, will have seen that we parked at the port. I made a little bit of a mistake this time and I didn't book the parking when I booked the cruise like I know I should have done, like I advise everyone else does. I did not take my own advice and then I, the parking was full. So it was a COVID cruise last time. I don't think there was as much of a, a demand for the parking. I think the ship's pretty much at capacity this time. Um, so we actually, one of the reasons we chose this hotel was because I could then pay through a separate 
website. We've got red spots as well. <laughs> Excellent. Red spots. Girls, twill. So now we have six red spots. Yes, the bunnies have got the red spots too. It's very exciting. Correction, white spots. Sorry, red with white spots. Thank yeah. you, William. <laughs> Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, yeah! Can we believe it? And we'll be getting on the ship in the next vlog, which is on screen just as soon as that's live. Oh How are you feeling? I'm good. You're good? It's the cruise now. Oh, wow, what's inside, girls? Guys, how stunning. This vlog's gonna be frantic. It's just gonna be like, ah!